guys, it's your girl Rihanna Nay, and I am back with another video. I am actually going to be getting ready to go and reinstate my license. Um, I have to actually reinstate my license because we'll go over that while, you know, we're getting ready. Um, I'm assuming that I'm going to have to take another picture because it's been a long time and I don't think they have I think you have to take another picture because I have to get another card but um, I'm going to do a little light beat or whatever because it's really hot it's going to be really hot today so really light beat um, y'all might hear Aubrey in the back because we're in a hotel and I had to come back to South Carolina to do this before I can get some damn plates in Ohio, okay? But let's go ahead and get into it because they just opened at 8.30 and it's 9. So, the lines is about to be long. I am in South Carolina for the weekend. It's Friday and I had to come and reinstate my license because my license has been suspended for the last four, maybe five years. <laughs> just because I just don't feel like fixing it. Like, if I'm a drive, I'm going to still drive. Okay, by the grace of God, I've been skating. Okay. You know, when I turned 28 this year, I was like, you know what, Brianna? You got to get your shit together. Like, there's no more playing around. Like, we are going to be big little women. Okay. And we are gonna actually do what this what the hell we say we're gonna do. I just felt like it it's it's time. It's time to get this shit together. And of course, I can't get a damn license plate in South in Ohio if I don't have an Ohio's license. But because my South Carolina license is suspended, I can't get an Ohio license yet. So that's why we are getting ready, you know. Okay, so the story time on and <laughs> how I got my license suspended in the first place, right? It's been like a really long journey with this license. I'm not even going to hold you. Like, I got my license when I was, what, 16? Because I was so freaking thirsty like everybody else just to get their license. And, you know, I went through hell and high water just to get it. I almost didn't pass. My first car was a 1995 Honda Accord four door okay it was a four door car and it was that champagne color baby you couldn't tell me nothing her name was honey and we used to ride around in that bitch like we really used to ride around in her all day every day so i was like you know what let me just go ahead and get my shit because I mean, none of my friends got their car, or you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their license, but no, nobody got no car. I got the car, so I might as well go ahead and get my license, right? Now, we're going to move to the story on how my license got suspended. My ass decides to move to South Carolina, back to South Carolina, or whatever. I grew up here, and I just decided, you know, I want to go back home. Like, this is around college, and, you know, I was like, okay... I'm tired of Ohio. There's nothing here for me. You know that whole spiel. What kids be going through. Oh, there's nothing here for me. Da 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 da. Flies a skippity d. So, you know, I packed me and Aubrey up. Aubrey was what, like three at the time? I packed me and Aubrey up and I went. Came back down to South Carolina. So, we came down to South Carolina, right? And with South Carolina, I ended up getting a new car because I had gotten a, by then I had like, I had like a 2013 Honda Accord and it was a black, it was only a two door, but my baby, her name was Silk. She had gotten in a car accident because somebody had hit me in the back and like, they ran me my money. <laughs> I ended up finally getting the settlement money for it and decided, okay, I'm going to buy me a new car. You know, like anybody else would. Got the new car, whatever. I had got, ended up getting like a 2009 
for no it was a 2007 4-inch with here in South Carolina basically it's required by law that you maintain insurance and if you don't maintain your insurance then they automatically suspend your plate they also automatically suspend your license strike one couldn't do it <laughs> you know what I'm saying like it was just too much for me like I couldn't do it like I was working and the job was like barely paying me like I could afford my rent and I could afford the car note I couldn't afford the damn insurance because my insurance was high because I was just young you know and I also had like a couple speeding tickets like you know what I'm saying so it was just high mind you while you know, I'm keeping it up for a minute, but then, like, I forget something drastic happened to where I had to, like, you know, put my money towards, you know, something had to, something was going to have to suffer in the end. And that just ended up being my damn, um, my insurance because, you know, this was my first car. I really wasn't trying to miss no payments or nothing like that. So this is, like, right before COVID happened. Okay, so the damn license ended up getting suspended. And then, like, you know, hey... Um, you missed one payment of your, you missed one payment of your insurance or whatever, and the insurance canceled. Normally, you get three before they cancel your damn insurance. Okay, like, you know what I'm saying? But because I was a young driver, one strike and you're motherfucking out, bitch, basically, is what they were saying. Like, one strike and you're fucking out. So, <laughs> I got my one strike and I was motherfucking out. Never fixed it. Just kept going. Well, no, 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 no. I did. I did fix it. So I ended up getting another insurance. But then it was like, oh, well, you got to have SR-22 now. Da, 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 da. Bitch, why? Because of the lapse of insurance? No. Girl, why do I have to pay a $600 down insurance for SR-22? A month. Kept up with it for a couple months. Then I ended up backing into somebody like when I was coming out like she kept going and like you see me coming why why if you see me backing out why are you still trying to skate through you tell me so I backed into her fucking car I was young dumb and hot-headed then because I was like bitch no I'm coming out but it wasn't no it wasn't a hard like boom it was just like a Tap. Like, you know, type thing. Like, she didn't have no scrapes or nothing on her car. I didn't have no scrapes or nothing on my car. So, I was like, I mean, we could check this shit up. Like, what's up? It's <laughs> like, shit. So, that's what ended up happening or whatever. And my insurance lapsed again. Another strike, you're out, right? I'm just like, by then, I'm in tears. Like, bro, I don't know what I'm going to do. Da 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 suspending my license again i can't keep this shit up whatever something just has to give at this point because i can't keep doing this i cannot keep doing this i can't so if i don't have insurance then that means i don't have a license or a license plate now i still have physically my license and i physically still have my license plate girl got pulled over so the officer was like, you know, you didn't do turn do your turning um, blinker or whatever, whatever. So I'm like, yes, I did do my turning bl blinker. So he was like, do it. Like, is it working? And I'm like, yeah. So he was like, let me see. So he, I, I did it and it started working and then it went out. He was like, where are you on your way to? I'm like, I'm on my way to work. Like, I work at, I used to work at a bank or whatever, and I worked third shift. So, he probably thought I was lying, but he was like, okay, I'm going to let you off with a warning, but I do want to let you know that um, your license and stuff is suspended. So, just make sure that you have it together by the time you go to court, by this court date. So, I'm like, fuck, okay, fine. Third time's a charm, okay? By this time, it's third time's a charm. So, you know, made sure I had everything ready for the court date. My license and everything was re-taken care of. They put me on the payment plan, blase skip, and got my license back. 
you know, whatever. Went to the court date, everything was cool, everything was dandy, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, okay, we are gonna try. Cause by then I had a better paying job at the bank. I was like, okay, we are gonna do this right. Didn't need a SR-22 or nothing. So I'm like, okay, yeah, everything is gonna go pretty cool. COVID happened and nobody had any money, right? So how am I supposed to pay for all this shit, you know? So I started doing like, you know, masks, making masks and whatnot, um, COVID-19 masks. I was doing delivery and all of this other stuff, right? It just wasn't enough for real, for real. My license is up getting suspended. No big deal, whatever. Cause now I'm just like, okay, whatever. This is just what it's gonna end up being. I'm leaving it here. I don't, I don't even care no more. When I get the money, I will, you know, I'm not gonna keep on stressing myself out about it. So me and my homegirl goes to Atlanta, right? Because Atlanta's only an hour trip from the Greenville. So we go to Atlanta and I let her drive because I'm like, um, she want actually like we did we agreed, okay, I'll drive there and then um, you drive while we're there. This girl got in a goddamn accident. Like, she was trying to turn, she was trying to go straight from a turning lane. And I'm like, girl, you cannot do that. Here come a car. Boom! We fucked up their car, but my car was cool. <laughs> Mind you, no insurance still. We gonna fast forward to All-Star Weekend, right? I went. And um, stayed with my homegirl from college because she lived down here or whatever. Stayed with somebody down here. I had to concentrate. So All-Star Weekend goes by, you know, everything's cool. I'm in Atlanta, you know. You know, I go home, made a bag, whatever, whatever. And so it's like the next weekend and my club is like, okay, you know, we want you to come back uh, on the weekend so that way you can make even more money. Goes and dances, right? I goes and I dance. Well, I'm on the way to go and dance. I'm on my way down here. And, you know, I do, I'm not even gonna hold you. Like, I do have the need for speed. Like, that's just my problem. And that's exactly why I got the Jeep because the Jeep only go to 100. <laughs> the Jeep only goes to 100. So, um, yeah, so, you know, I'm not going to hold you. Like, all, but all the cars are going fast, so I'm really going, I'm going, you know, the speed of traffic. Girl, they had a fleet of goddamn police waiting on everybody that came down that goddamn hill. All of us got pulled over. And I'm not talking about no little two or three. I'm talking about seven to like 10 people got pulled over. Like in, in Atlanta, if your license is suspended, your plates are suspended, you're going to jail. I spent like a couple, maybe like two or three hours in jail. None of my family members knew this at the time. Like I bonded myself out and called one of my homegirls to come pick me up type shit. Hold on. So I ended up, you know, paying my bond and whatnot on my own. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody has to know. Because don't nobody know at the time. None of my family members knew I was dancing. None of my family members knew anything. Like, everybody is just pretty much in my family. Everybody goes through what they're going through on their own. Nobody really talks. And I think that is a generational curse that I will definitely try to, like, undo with Aubrey and the rest of my kids. Like, if I ever do end up having more, any more kids. But, so yeah, nobody knew. Now everybody knows, cause you know, it was like a funny story that I decided I wanted to tell. Like, I mean, my mom and my dad knew I was dancing, but nobody else knew, okay? <laughs> Get out, you know, do my little dancey dance. And then I go home, like, I was not playing. I was going to get the damn money so I can pay for my shit. So I can have a home. So I don't get evicted. This was like when cold, like they was like, you know, they wasn't sure what they was doing and they was still asking people to pay for rent and shit. So they ended up um, was like, you know, hey, you know, you gotta come to court, da 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 da. 
you still got a ticket. You got to take care of the ticket by this get. I couldn't pay for the ticket. Because by then, they for real shut everything down. Like, nothing was open. So, I didn't have no money. So, the judge was like, okay, well, you know, that's fine. We can, you know, because of the circumstances, you know, we'll just put you on probation. Now, you can either do community service or you can just, like, you know, pay it off. I didn't want to do community service. And it's no reason why. I just didn't want to. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to figure out a way to pay or whatever. Da, 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 da. He was like, okay, well, if you are going to pay, you know, I'm going to put you on probation still. And then, you know, as long as you pay the um, the $600 by this date, you know, you'll be fine. And if not, we'll just, you know, continue to raise the damn probation. Because I don't know if you guys know, but you have to pay to be on probation. And the longer you're on probation, the longer you got to goddamn, the longer you got to damn go and pay. So, needless to say, I was on probation for a year and a half. Ended up having to pay almost $2,000 total for everything. That is the ticket for getting stopped for speeding and the probation period that I was in. So, I'm just like, okay. By then, I had moved back home, well, back to Ohio, and I had made a list. And I was like, okay, you're going to get your shit together. You're going to get your shit together, okay? There is no more playing around. There's no more, you know what I'm saying? No more acting like you don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no more of that. You have to get your shit together, Brianna. Like, you were about to be 27 at the time. And it's just time to get your shit together. So, I made a checklist. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to swear off the date. I'm going to swear off the boys. I'm going to swear off. Like, yeah, I'm okay with going out. But I got shit I got to take care of. And I really can't do that. You know what I'm saying? If I keep on spending money trying to keep up with the Joneses and everybody else. Like, I can't keep doing it. Didn't I say I was going to do a light beat? Well, look at me. Doing the whole shit in today. Let me finish my eyebrows because clearly sis, oop, sis can't multitask. I just said I wasn't gonna do all of this. <laughs> Look at me, he said I'm here doing all of this. All right, so we're back, okay. So I worked two dealerships, like I cleaned two dealerships. I was cleaning the Dodge Jeep dealership. I also cleaned Volvo. And so from there, I would go to a chiropractor's, a chiropractor um, job that was like almost 45 minutes away. Clean two chiropractor office, chiropractic offices, go and clean the dentist office. Sis couldn't really get a real job because they had a warrant out for my rest because I was not paying that damn, I was not paying the uh, probation. Like I was skating a fucking way. Like he didn't know I left the, uh, he didn't know that I left um, South Carolina type shit, like, so he put a warrant out for my rest. So I'm just like, okay, yeah, no, I'm not, there's no way. There's no way. Like, I can't get a job. I can't do anything, right? So I saved all of that money that I had gotten. And, like, you know, I had a little bit of extra money or whatever from, like, you know, just doing other odd jobs. And thank God he let me pay it over the phone because, baby, mm-mm. I'm not coming down here. If you can take this payment over the phone with this credit card, go ahead. So then I was off probation. He took off my warrant or whatever. And I ended up getting a job where I work currently. Okay, so now all I have to do is just pay off the rest of these reinstatement fees off of them. Because, baby, them fees have been accumulating over the last five, six years. So I accumulated a big amount. <laughs> And now I gotta, you know, pay the big amount. That is pretty much the story <laughs> on how, it was a long story it felt like. But yeah, like that's the story. Like it was a lot. Like I really was being so irresponsible, so carefree, so like, oh my God, fuck it type shit. And you can't be like that. Like that was a lesson learned for me. Like the more you continue to push things off, the more it's gonna bite you in your ass 
because nothing is ever going to go just go away, you know? But, um, yeah, like, I'm really proud of myself. Like, I've finally, like, I've always been mature, but, like, financially, no, I have not been mature. Like, I, certain situations, it was either one or the other. Like, okay, either this has to go or this has to go. We're going to pay what's more important type thing. And that's pretty much just what it was this entire time. Me just trying to figure out life. And I'm really proud of myself. Like, I'm about to finally get these last couple things that I needed taken care of. They don't look like spider legs, do they? But yeah, this is the finished look. I need to just finish up my hair. And then I can go. So I can be like, yeah, God did. Thank him in advance. Because, baby, I don't know how I've been skating alone. Like, I do not know how I've been doing it. But I am just proud of me. And I'm proud of me and I'm so thankful because without God, I don't know where I would be. Like, it's just, I've gone through so much within these last, like, two, three years. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Ooh, no, I didn't just burn me. Oh, my God, Brianna, you got to be careful. I burnt the hell out of my damn forehead like that. Ugh, it's dunk in my ear. Cause then I'm gonna be for real mad. Ooh, bitch. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, cheese it all hard, like, yeah, cause God did. But yeah, so I'm about to put my clothes on or whatever. Huh? I look cute as hell. Like, my little picture is about to be cute. So, um, I'm about to let. My lace dry a little bit more, put my clothes on, and get all be ready so we can go. Now it is 10 48. I'm about to head out, and we is about to do the dang on thing, okay? We're about to get business taken care of today, and we are gonna go get something to eat. And of course, y'all kind of with me, like, you just better answer your damn phone when I call back. But yeah, TTFN, ta ta for now.